Today, we traverse a timeline where sustainability was less about advocacy and more about inherent living. Through Grandma's complete guide to green living, we aim to rediscover, relearn, and reintegrate age-old practices into our modern world for an enhanced green existence. Prelude, the symbiotic dance of nature and humans in our ancestors' world, cohabitation with nature was a gentle, symbiotic dance. Every resource taken was done with gratitude and intention, and every return was about nurturing and replenishing. One, repair and reuse, a testament to longevity. Mending matters. Every piece of fabric, whether a hand-me-down dress or a well-worn shirt, told stories. Rather than discarding, they would carefully repair, ensuring multiple chapters in an item's life story. The art of repurposing. Items were seen beyond their immediate utility. Containers found new life as storage solutions, Old garments were reborn as quilts, and even food tins could become plant pots. Two, dietary choices rooted in Earth's rhythms. Eating with the seasons. There was no yearning for summer berries in winter. They embraced seasonal produce, reducing the carbon footprint associated with transporting foods across vast distances. Full circle nutrition. A holistic view of food meant bones became broth, vegetable scraps became stews, and any leftovers were creatively reused or returned to the earth as compost. Three, cleaning with nature's generosity. Harnessing natural elements. Common household items, lemon to combat stains, baking soda for scouring, and vinegar as a disinfectant or multi-purpose, efficient, and gentle on the environment. The eternal cloth. Before the invasion of single-use wipes, sturdy cloths served multiple cleaning roles. They were washed, dried in the sun, and reused, cutting down landfill waste. Four, thoughtful consumption in a pre-industrial era. Durability over flash. The allure of an item was its longevity, not just its aesthetics. Quality craftsmanship ensured lesser purchases and fewer disposals. The soul in handmade, Beyond mere products, handmade items bore the artisan's spirit. They were cherished for their distinctiveness and the lesser ecological impact of their creation. Five, conserving nature's lifelines, energy and water. Cherishing every drop, water wasn't just consumed, it was revered. Efficient practices like rainwater harvesting, gray water systems, and mindful irrigation upheld its sanctity. Harnessing nature's gifts, rooms were designed for optimal daylight and evenings were lit with candles or lanterns. Cooling depended on architectural design and cross ventilation, not electricity. Six, home gardens, biodiversity, and self-reliance. Patchwork of produce. Varied patches of land bore fruits, vegetables, herbs, and medicinal plants. This ensured organic produce and biodiversity right at home. Warding off pests the natural way. With solutions like chili sprays, marigold barriers, and beneficial insects, gardens flourished without synthetic chemicals. 7. Mindful Movement and Mobility The Beauty of the Slow Lane Walks weren't just for health. They were moments of reflection, observation, and connection. Community rides, carpooling, shared carriages, and public transportation fostered community interactions while reducing individual emissions. Eight, embracing less, experiencing more. The richness of minimal living, spaces weren't cluttered. Fewer meaningful items meant easier maintenance, lesser waste, and more space for creativity and experiences. Nature as the grand entertainer, leisure revolved around picnics, stargazing, local fets, and nature walks, underscoring the joys of simple, sustainable entertainments. 9. Holistic Wellness from Nature's Lap Garden Apothecary Remedies ranged from Tulsi tea for colds to aloe vera for skin ailments. Nature was the primary healer, offering gentle, effective solutions. Beauty, the natural way, 
face masks from kitchen ingredients, hair treatments from garden herbs, beauty routines were devoid of chemicals and plastics rooted deeply in nature's bounty. The mosaic of green living, grandma's era wasn't perfect, but it held invaluable lessons. It's a testament that in simplicity lies profound wisdom. As we seek solutions for our environmental concerns, these lessons are not just quaint anecdotes, but guiding stars. Marrying this ancient wisdom with our modern tools can script a harmonious future where nature doesn't just survive, but thrives. Together, let's reimagine our lives, sprinkling it with the timeless essence of the past, ensuring a flourishing planet for all.